Hey guys, welcome to Flight Test. Today we're gonna to take a simple chuck lighter anyone can build. We're gonna combine a power-up module and make it RC. So if you guys haven't noticed, we love building big, crazy monstrosities put to the air, whether it's a 17-foot battleship. There's a tree! Flying toilet. Oh! Or even a flying saucer. You're doing it, man! We love doing crazy big projects. But we also love getting people in the hobby and we like making it as approachable and simple as possible. So today is a special day because we get to show you guys and how under an hour you can put together a simple chuck lighter and you can make it RC. The way that we're gonna make this chuck lighter RC is by using this right here. This is called the Power Up 4.0. We just got this and the cool thing about this is we can add this onto a simple free flight chuck lighter and using the motors and the gyros inside, it's gonna fly. So we've actually been working with the Power Up guys from the first iteration of their Power Up project. So the Power Up module was originally designed to fly paper airplanes, something that's super approachable, which anybody can make. And you probably, when you were a kid, were messing around with paper airplanes in class. They literally created a module that you could slide onto a piece of paper, chuck it, maneuver it with your phone on an app, and fly it. So Shy and his team over at Power Up, who are really good friends of the channel, reached out to us to see if we could partner on a design with the 4.0 module. So on this 4.0 Kickstarter, there's gonna be a pro kit that you can access, and in that pro kit, we're gonna have these foam gliders that you can partner with that 4.0 module. So now what we have to do is come up with a design that's not only gonna fly well, but people are gonna enjoy when they get it in their Kickstarter packages. Like everything, whether it is a flying battleship, we always start with a chuck lighter, right? Yep. Small scale chuck lighter. The cool thing is this gets to go directly from a chuck lighter to an RC plane. You always, always, always start with getting your center of gravity established. Before you start thinking about how the controls work or anything, find out what it takes to make it glide well, and then your control inputs will come after. I think this is good. Check this out, ready? That feels good. Oh yeah, that is, that's why so, nice. This is how far off I was. Originally, I'm thinking eight and a half by 11 sheet, which is our goal, making this. There's just, it's not happening. Oh, it, there's, there's no way. But now that we know the reality, we know that this is like a pretty nice speed. Mm -hmm. You know, we can see this flying in a gymnasium or in a backyard. We can make a profit slot, but the, the foam is gonna take up a huge amount of efficiency here. Yeah. So what I'm thinking we're gonna do next here is we'll mark where our center of gravity is, which is right about there. So there's our center of gravity. Here's our nose piece. Look how perfectly that lines up with mm. the canopy. Isn't yes. that crazy? I think the next thing we're gonna do is I'm just gonna start hacking some foam together. We're gonna just stick this on in its roughest form, just as you see right here, and then we're gonna see it plus. Ready? Here goes. Uh, yes. Dude, that, that's a little feel how you do it, I promise. So here's, here's a really neat thing about the 22s. It's because of their wing design and they're basically like a big lifting body, there is a lot you can do with it because of the sweep of the wings are incredibly stable even in high alpha. Yeah. So do you notice how it kind of went up there and it's like, okay, I'm just kind of... Like, uh, and that's why when you see the F-22s, you see those crazy maneuvers where they can just kind of pitch along. Yeah. You know, like that. So that's crazy. we can put the form to it later. We're just looking for function here. Yeah. All we want to see is function and get a controllable good flight. Mm -hmm. What do you say we get the app going? Yes. We plug it in and we see how it flies. Yeah, dude, let's do it. All right. So here's my initial concerns here, and it's thrust angle is everything, and this is the CG, these are the motors. I don't know if this is gonna pitch it hard this way or what, so uh, typically you want, in a pusher configuration, you want the motor to be pointing at the CG, which would make it like this. So it could just go <laughs> If it does, we'll just flip this on the bottom, and it'll always be pulling up. Yeah, that's fair. So right. the other cool thing is there's gonna be a PowerUp 4.0 app, and then I have the ability to mess around with it right now. So. All right, time to throw it at your face. Oh, okay. One time can be lucky, two times. So here's the thing, a lot of times people think if you have a 10 ounce plane, you need 10 ounces of thrust. If you have an efficient airframe, you can fly as little as 25% power to weight ratio, even less with gliders. So this is awesome. Let's go okay, right, you, ready? you ready? Dude, this is exciting. <laughs> I'm gonna go to 50% drop. Whoops. You're recovering. <laughs> What a recovery! That was at 50 and then it popped up and then I went to about 85, 90 well, and, it, and it stayed there. If you told me that this yeah. would be going this smooth this early in the process, 
That's a testament to not only the foam board and the design and the weight, but also to Shy and the rest of the Power Up team. There's a control board on board. There's a gyro and accelerometer. It uses differential thrust essentially to maneuver it's, the plane. It's a lot more than, than just two motors and a power. Right, board. exactly. It's, it's a stabilization too. Yeah, they put a lot of time and effort into oh. this. No joke, he flew a piece of lettuce with this yeah. thing. It's, it's fantastic. Are you ready? All right. All right. I'm gonna launch it towards the TV, see if we can get it to go towards Maddie, okay? Okay. Yes! Yes! I am so happy right now. You can't understand how excited I am about this. This is amazing. And here's the cool thing. So you always start with function, okay? Yes. Get the function, get it flying before you worry about looks. But here's the happy accident. Here's the canopy in the top half of the F-22. It goes right over top of that. So canopy. I'm thinking about dropping this down so that way people can plug it in right behind the canopy. Yep. And then we can start building the sucker out. Do you think it's worth just seeing how Let's it goes just go outside? outside Let's and just try it. Do it. Let's okay. do it. So we're partnering with Shy and the Power Up team. They're just coming out with their new Power Up 4.0 technology. And we partnered with them to make some foam kits for the Kickstarter. So make sure that you check out the links below because they're amazing as you can see. And I'm, I think I'm gonna get myself one for sure. I might, maybe I'll take this one. <laughs> There's this river. <laughs> And these are two prototypes. We don't get any more. Yeah, there's, there's two prototypes. <laughs> right. We gotta make it last. So let's go on the other side of the river. If you guys are ever learning to fly models or you're ever testing something out, look at where your plane's possibly gonna blow to. I don't wanna go into the river with, with one of two, two prototypes. Yes. I wanna be able to fly with my buddies later. All right. Ready? Yeah. Double tap. <laughs> not having much with the up, are you? It was getting in the wind. When I went against the wind, I couldn't pitch back up. Did you try boost mode? I did not try boost mode, though. So a couple things we learned here. The plane was a little bit too heavy, so we want to get this where it's flying around 50, 55 percent. It also possibly has some thrust angle issues. So as we give more throttle, we want this to be able to pitch up slightly, not to pitch down. And I kind of noticed when we were going with the wind, it was really pitching down hard. We want it to be able to always kind of give that energy to, to convert to a climb. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna change our thrust angle. We're gonna go ahead and make it lighter, make a new version, put it together and go fly. All right, so round two is now done here. I'm starting to add some of the function. You're gonna notice here that now the motor is angled up a little bit. Typically, you want the motors pointing towards the center of gravity to give the proper thrust angle, but we found it wasn't that bad. So what we did this time is we kind of tilted it down a little bit, so hopefully this will push down the back end, get the front end rising up. And also, we put this fuselage here so we have a nice little keel that we can launch this a little bit easier. Other than that, not much has changed. Once we find out whether this will flag it or not, I'll start peeling paper off, find out where we can take away to it, and uh, hopefully lighten this up by a few grams. Yeah, got a little bit of wind. We could try it. You never know. Wanna try it? Try it. All right, ready? Here we go. That's promising. Dude, that looks good. I mean, we got some crazy wind going on. Come back. Oh, oh man, that was crazy. Let's keep this going. I like that one. That was nice. At first, I was climbing, and when I came back into the wind. It was just, yeah, with the wind, it was just going. <laughs> the wind is not ideal for this situation we're doing. But the fact that I did get success to go up and into the wind and then turn downwind and go so far, for me, I thought that was probably pretty good in my opinion. All right, this is clearly too much wind to fly this, but I think we need to lock down everything that we see right now. I think the thrust angle's good now. I think the weight is an issue. I'm gonna start peeling paper. Matter of fact, we can probably do that right now. We kind of fell to the uh, conclusion at the end of yesterday that the bottom strung or bottom hung motors were by far better. We also knew that our target goal is 15 grams. If I weigh this right now, all up weight on this, 39 grams. The weight on this, all up, is 30. We basically shaved 10 grams off of this. The airframe by itself is 25. Without the paper, it's 15. That puts us right in the target goal. Let's go fly them. Oh, that's better. <laughs> Look at the high alpha. That's insane. Look at the climb. <laughs> now, we're currently flying this on the Power Up 3.0. The Power Up 4.0 is going to also give some really cool features like basically autonomous stability. You can make this as easy as you want to fly or as challenging. The really encouraging thing is the way I'm flying it right now, there's virtually no stabilization except for the three axis gyros. 
Oh my god! <laughs> Come on, <to> the right. <laughs> So this design is actually taken from our STEM program. This is our STEM F22. I'm really encouraged because this size is gonna be perfect for kids to be able to make this go from free flight to RC. So the neat thing about this is you can get about 10 minutes of flight time, but realistically expect between six and seven minutes, especially if you're carrying higher throttle. <laughs> this is incredible. So here's the cool thing. We have more time to perfect this design and hopefully many others and also officially launch our FT Easy Series. Our Easy Series are going to be the line of chuck lighters that you can make RC if you wish. And now thanks to this awesome power up 4.0, it's going to be easier than ever. One goal we really want to do is inspire both young and old alike. Nothing's better than getting someone involved by first letting them defeat the laws of gravity with something simple and approachable that can easily and quickly be done. We want to make it so simply you can put this on and have an awesome RC experience that will teach you the principles of flight, but also give you that early success. Now guys, if you haven't already subscribed, I ask you, please consider doing so because we want you to be part of the Flight Test family, but also check down the link below. If you love the concept of this Power Up 4.0, the Kickstarter is still active. We want you to support it and we'll see you next time.